So we want to get to a Fox 5 exclusive a mother and her four-year-old son with autism uh, are upset after she says a rideshare driver dumped them off in southeast three miles from their intended destination. And all of this because the mother says that her son was having an episode caused by his autism. Our Shamari Stone has the story. Tonight, that mother, Chanel Wood, says she's not only speaking out on behalf of her son, but other children with autism as well, along with their parents. She says that her four-year-old was sitting in the back seat, similar to how I am during a lift ride, and she was sitting next to him. Tuesday, around 4.45 in the evening. She says he started stimming, which is self-stimulatory behavior in some cases, the repetition of sounds, physical movements, words. Her son, she says, was excitedly squealing. She tells me that she explained to the driver that he has autism, but says the driver got annoyed, became rude, and criticized her parenting, and eventually ended the drive early, leaving the mother and son at a gas station on the 2300 block of Pennsylvania Avenue Southeast, three miles away from their destination in Northwest. She filed an official complaint with Lyft. Fox 5 called Lyft and a spokesperson sent us a statement that reads, quote, safety is fundamental to Lyft and we strive to create a community where everyone is treated with equal respect and mutual kindness. Upon learning of this incident, Lyft investigated the matter and refunded the driver for this ride. You're now going to hear exclusively from Chanel Woods. First of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Um, Lyft says they gave you a refund. Do you feel that that is fair? In my opinion, I don't feel that it's fair. Um, I was dropped off in the middle of nowhere in a very crime, high, high crime rated area. I felt very uncomfortable and nobody deserves to be treated like that. I don't feel like she should ride for Lyft anymore. What do you want to see happen? I really want to see them make more changes to the Lyft app. I feel as though the drivers should know when someone um, with a disability is going to enter their car so they kind of know what to expect and I feel like there should be more training. I just want to advocate for all the moms that went through the same thing. Um, I got so much um, support and I appreciate it and I just want to advocate for them so this doesn't happen again. Now Lyft also tells us that the driver did not feel she could drive safely which is why she ended the ride early. I'm Shamari Stone. Back to you.